Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So one of the questions that I get all the time is, hey, has anybody ever told you that you look like Danzig? Well, that has nothing to do with this video, but another question I get all the time is, what is a great affordable practice amp? Well, these days there are many good options, but just recently Blackstar has released a couple of really affordable amps that I think might go right to the top of the list. These are the Blackstar Debut Series amps, and there are two different amplifiers with slight differences, but they cost right around that 80 to maybe $110 range, right in there. And I have this one right here, which is the larger of the two amplifiers. And just look at this thing, look how cool this is. Now, just to be clear, I bought this amp, they did not send it to me. Uh, but if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that I already really like the Black Star brand. And so when I saw this, when, when they announced these and I saw them, I just immediately jumped on it and I bought this one. Now, in some ways, this is a traditional practice amp, but it's got some really interesting key features that make it really, really cool. And of course, it's really affordable. This would be a perfect first amp or just like a practice amp where you don't want to plug into your rig of doom. Okay, so what makes this so great? Well, first of all, just look at it. It looks really cool, and these actually come in a couple of different colors, but I love the gray Tolex on this one. It looks like it's made out of rock. But also, they have a tan one if, if you want a more vintage style. Okay, but obviously, it's not just the looks, but let's take a look at the controls up here. First, there's a gain control, and right next to that, there's a channel switch for switching between the clean or distortion channels. And then you've got an overall volume control, and then you've got a couple of tone controls. One is just a straight up tone knob, and the other is the Black Star ISF uh, control, which basically controls the, the sort of the, the overall character of the amplifier. And it's kind of surprising, but between just these two knobs, you can get a really wide variety of tones out of the amplifier. And, and you'll hear that in a, in a minute here when I get into the demo. Right next to that, we've got a tiny little effects section. And there's only one effect on this amp, but it's delay. And so you can, uh, you can toggle the delay off and on. Then you've got this knob here to control the, the level of the delay and also the speed of the, of the delay to a certain extent. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting, but I've always felt this. If you were only going to have one effect, like, and the first effect somebody should get in a rig, I think, is delay. And what's cool is you can use this in different ways. Like, you can have it set just a little bit, and you get the sort of like a slapback delay effect. You can crank it up, and you get a longer, more powerful delay, which is great for lead guitar work, you know, solos and that kind of thing. And if you just have it just a tiny bit, it almost becomes more like a mild reverb, and, and that you can just sort of leave it on all the time. Okay, and then next to that, there's two more really key features here. Uh, one is a line-in jack, okay, if you want to plug in, you know, like going out of your phone or something like that, or maybe a drum machine, you can plug it into here. And then you've got the headphone jack, which doubles as an emulated output. So overall, this is a very simple amp yet it actually has a lot packed into it. Okay, now the other thing about this, and this is gonna seem a little weird, but the other thing I love about this amp is the power cable. Now you're probably thinking, look Danzig, it's a power cable, what's the big deal? Okay, look at this cable. This is like one of these standard three-prong cables that you would plug in your computer with or something like that. In this amp, the power supply is built into the amplifier and then you just use a standard cable to plug it in. And a lot of the other practice amps, even some of the older Black Star little amps, like the ID Core series, they have an external power supply. And so you've got this power adapter that you have to lug around with the amplifier. If you lose this, you can buy one of these cables just about anywhere for like a few dollars. Those other amps, if the power supply breaks or you lose it or damage it or something, you have to order an entire new one and it ends up costing a lot more. So this might seem like a weird little detail, but I actually love the fact that they use this power cable. Okay, but it's an amplifier, obviously, and we want to hear how it sounds. And I think uh, as cool as the features are and how it looks and everything, the best thing about this amplifier is how it sounds. And yeah, for a little practice amp, it sounds awesome. But let's go ahead and get into the demo so you can really hear it. Now, 
Of course, I'm going to use this amplifier. I'm also going to use my Halo Claris uh, for the demo here. I have not busted this out in a while. Love this guitar, so this will be a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new affordable gear, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug all this stuff in and listen to how it sounds.
Okay guys, so yeah, I mean, let's talk a little bit more about this amplifier. But first of all, just the sound of it, I think is great. I mean, so many of these little practice amps, they don't really sound that good and you end up just sort of settling for anything that will make noise and is convenient and is cheap, right? But this amp and really the distortion, right? The high gain sound is actually surprisingly good. I mean, it sounds really, really good. The other thing, that really impressed me about the amp is how powerful just these two knobs are to, uh, to get different tones from the amplifier. Between the gain and then the tone knob and then the ISF uh, and not even getting into the delay and the effects and everything, but just those three knobs give you this huge range of, uh, you know, a huge range of tones, right? All from this little 15 watt solid state amp. Also, this thing sounds really good through the headphone out jack, right? It's like a speaker emulated output that you can use for headphones or you can even run like a little eighth inch XLR cable or something like that. You could, if you wanted to, you could plug this into an interface for recording and use that emulated output or you could run it into a mixing board or a PA. So just having that little emulated out jack there it gives you so many more options with this amplifier. The line in jack, I mean, I personally don't use it very much, but it's still nice to have that. If, uh, let's say, you had like some backing tracks on your phone or something like that, so you could run a little auxiliary cable out of your phone headphone jack and then into here and then play the tracks through there and play along with them. Having that capability is always nice on, on a little practice amp like this. Now, the other thing that's cool about this, right, is so many of these, these sort of modern practice amps are app dependent, meaning, you know, you connect your phone to the amplifier and you got to update the firmware. And, you know, there are a lot of cool things you could do, like loading different sound patches and maybe having more effects and things like that. But there's a lot of people out there, a lot of guys, you know, old school guys that don't want to screw around with software and phone apps and Wi-Fi connections and all that stuff. And this... To me, this is like a, just a great combination of an old school, traditional practice amp, but with a few modern day features and a great sound that just pushes it into the modern era. And yeah, I think I bought this amp for like $85 or something like that. And again, this is the slightly larger of the two amplifiers. There's a 15 watt version, this one. And then there's also a 10 watt version, which is a little smaller. And I think it... Um, I think it, it maybe doesn't have an independent gain control. Uh, it just has a volume, uh, but it still does have a distortion channel. But anyway, I think for the price difference, you know, you can probably find this amp for $85, $90, $95 right in there. And the other one is a little bit less expensive, but for the price difference, I think this is the one to go for. You know, if you can cough up an extra like $15, definitely get this one. And guys, for a sub $100 amp, this thing is solid. I mean, this thing feels really good. The knobs feel good, all the switches. It just, it feels like quality. It's got some weight to it. You could sit on this, you could stand on this and not worry about crushing it, right? You know, if you get locked out of your car, this could easily break a window. Now, one of the amps that I've talked about in the past, I wanna say like, I don't know, like three, four years ago, from Blackstar uh, is their ID Core amplifiers. And these are in most cases, uh, little combo amps like 10, 20, 30 watts. They had uh, different sizes and so forth. And those are really great little amps. And they've got some of the, the similar, similar controls as this one, although maybe um, a little bit more in terms of the, uh, the tone options and that kind of stuff. But the deal with those amps, you know, they used to be 110, 120 bucks. The prices of those amplifiers in the past like three, four years have gone up considerably. And so now you're looking at like a couple hundred bucks to get one of those uh, ID core amplifiers. And don't get me wrong, they're still good amps, but maybe not everybody wants to spend that much money. And they also have that other little issue where they have the external power adapter, right? So if you're looking for, you know, a sub hundred dollar practice amp, 
that sounds really good. I think this one really is gonna become my like go-to recommendation for people. This is like the perfect amp to have in your apartment where you've got the guitar hanging up on the wall and your buddy comes over and he's like, oh, hey, you play guitar? And you're like, yeah, check this out. Check out these riffs. And you plug into this amp and the amp sounds impressive, right? It just sounds good. It makes you sound good. It's the perfect amp for that. Okay, guys, that is it though. That is the Black Star Debut 15E. That's this particular model here. And then I think the Debut 10 is the, the smaller one. But I'm gonna have links for all this stuff down in the video description below, the amps, uh, and also the guitar I was playing, which again is the Halo Claris. Let me know what you thought of this, guys, and if you have any other uh, suggestions for like really affordable practice amps, I'm talking like right around $100 or less, let me know down in the comments section below. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.